We're about to miss the bus back to the airport unless we run. So she's right behind me. She's behind me. So we're running back to get to the bus. I think we're gonna make it. So we're going to Brazil. Right now we are on a plane headed to Brazil to go love on people. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out some demons. Let's go. Right here in Brazil, we're here at the hotel, and the team's starting to show up. So we're on our way for our first session, and we are equipping leaders tonight. It's a leadership conference that we're going to. We're going to pray for them, love on them, see some healings and miracles, fun stuff. Yep. So stay tuned. Wait, favorite moment? <laughs> My favorite moment was the coffee guy getting a jolt of Jesus. My favorite moment was when I prayed for the guy for his arm to be healed, he was healed. It was a favorite moment with Jesus is King. I mean, come on, he just came in the room and showed up. I like when everybody at the end was just getting hit and everybody was going out in the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost carnage everywhere. I love worship in Brazil. Worship was your favorite moment? So amazing. So much freedom. My favorite moment was actually towards the beginning of the night. Um, worship was going on, and there were two guys behind me, and, and I just felt like their fate just bubbling up. They were just worshiping, and it just went up and up and up. And the guy on the left was power, and the guy on the right was authority. Like that's what they carried, and together they were going to move mountains. And uh, it was super fun because uh, they both got touched in their own way, and I had work specifically for each of them to see their faith rise in that of uh, the confirmation that the Lord sees them and He hears them and He knows them. And loves them uh, because it was exactly what they needed so that was so fun. good morning we are here for day two uh with in brazil with the copy freedom fighters we got some amazing news for last night amazing news so not only were there tons of testimonies and healings there was a jewel a diamond that fell from the sky except we were inside yes we were inside. I know this sounds crazy, but I saw it. I'm gonna it was put. like about the size of it. <laughs> yeah, it was large, and uh, it fell on the stage, it fell on the drummer's head, and he put it in his hand. I'm gonna post a picture. Uh, but we, uh, we were indoors, and uh, not only that, there was uh, some feathers that came down. Yeah. This stuff sounds ridiculous, and I probably wouldn't believe it if I hadn't have seen it. <laughs> Uh, there's go there was gold all over people's hands. Uh, that's called the glory of the Lord, and it's real. Real talk in Brazil, miracles happening. Uh, and that was only the first day. Yeah, so it wasn't even a full one. Yeah, it wasn't even a full one, just one service at night. So we're headed back for day two, and we are excited. Hey, who's ready for day two? Okay, so we are about to walk through the fire tunnel. All right, fire of the Lord is gonna come. Yep, loving it. This is what happens with the fire tunnel. So we just finished the first session. The bus is here, we're gonna go grab some lunch. It was amazing, we prayed over pastors. There was probably 25 pastors that were here. We lined them up, prayed for them, and Lord encountered them in an amazing way. We were giving them prophetic words. Uh, there was gold everywhere on people's hands, on people's uh, clothing and body and oil. I can't make this stuff up, guys. This is crazy. Uh, but the Lord is moving here for sure. The Lord is breaking chains right now, setting people free. Freedom fighters bringing healing, deliverance, yeah. change in the region, change in Rio. Brazil, baby. I had, I had partial blindness leave this morning. Yes. I don't want healing. Jesus name, 100%. 
100%. Yeah. Yeah. And are. you couldn't feel anything in his hand yeah. from an accident? Now can. Thank yes. You, Thank, you. Thank you, Lord. So they're treating us to an amazing lunch. This is a churrasquero like in Brazil where like we have this at home. Like we have a, a, a Brazilian steakhouse. But this is like a huge buffet. And you get a lineup and grab whatever you want. They cook it straight on the grill. I have some bacana, which is like their top sirloin. Uh, and then I have some ribs here, which is delicious. And they have all these really, really hot uh, sauces, which is the key to my heart. Right here, this, this stuff is phenomenal. There's this one little, I don't even know what this is, I'm gonna find out. But it seriously looks like a, like a ghost pepper or something, I don't know. It's, it looks like it's gonna be fire, so I might not wanna try that. But it is delicious. It has a little bit different flavor. But it feels kind of like more like a dry heat. Like I feel like if I would put the whole thing in my mouth, I wouldn't be able to breathe. You know, that kind of heat, like deep in your throat. So I'm going to live. So uh, we're excited because we're going into night two. And we're going to go pray for some people. We've already seen a lot of people healed today. Emmett's in the house. And uh, Agape is doing it right. So I'm here in the courtyard of Pier 49 out here in Brazil, the church that we're at. And we just had the afternoon session, a prophet came and uh, prayed for actually all the prayer team and, and we got blasted, every single one of us, uh, including my wife who started prophetically singing uh, and basically took over the whole end of the service and sang for like 30 minutes. And people were going down and uh, people were worshiping and it was amazing. And she's still in there. Um, people are praying for her and she's having an encounter right now as we speak. So I need to go to the bathroom. Bye. over me and I couldn't stand and it was like uh, there were like waves of, of shot you know electricity flowing from my body yeah it was it's coming back <laughs> and that's tea time with Raj ding <laughs> Clark is behind me praying for a little boy and uh, just loving on him, praying for him right now. And a whole crowd is gathered around praying as well. You know what time it is! Favorite moments! My favorite moment was a moment ago when I was hugging people and they were crying and I was crying and the love of God was all over us! You're gonna do favorite moments! <laughs> They're having a favorite moment right now. Let's go. Let's go. This is Ed's favorite moment. 
we leave room for the Holy Spirit. So we're doing favorite moments. Ed goes down. It's Will's fault. Really, Holy Spirit's fault. Lots of favorite moments. But one of them was I, I introduced the gal that picked me up at the airport. Yeah. I mean, like, that was like, I felt like a lost little kid by finally she picked me up. And so I was introducing her to you, I think. And we hugged her and, and um, Chris prayed for her. And then she turned to me and she said, this is my new mommy. Aww. So my right. favorite moment was this morning when Judah, <laughs> Judah, Judah, got us all to get on our knees and the angels came and uh, God has called me to plant a church in the Vale of Neath. So God just moved me to roar. I don't know if you heard me. I want to hear it again. I roar. Was getting to lead worship with my beautiful Brazilian family. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, that was that was amazing. Yeah, I mean, perhaps I learned that, right? Ed and Joe, that was really, and all the nice things Ed, Ed Marsh said about me. It was beautiful, and I think I recorded it for you too. Oh, thank you. Yes. I to see that. Yeah, that was that was amazing. What about you, Melissa? Melissa. Never done this before. What so. was your favorite part of the day? My life. My favorite moment was when Marilyn came to me and I started crying and crying and crying and crying and crying and I pray a lot and I pray a lot I pray to die and God was speaking to me and I was really healing about an issue that was my favorite moment of the day and the moment that the laser worship was awesome he gets really beautiful songs even really Brazilian songs that are old songs that all all people know and God's presence was so real and it was real beautiful. My favorite moment, I watched um, all these men just honor some of the women on our team. Like, I mean, one was like hugging their feet and one was hugging the other and then they'd help her up. And it just was like another moment of honor. And then we got to see Joe honor Randy. And it was just like a whole day filled with honor that you don't honestly you just don't see in America because everyone's trying to <clears throat> make their own mark or they're trying to get ahead or they're trying to prove something and so you don't see that a lot it's it's almost like lost where we're from so it like really stood out to me today so that was my favorite party today hey day four we are going uh, on the bus we're gonna have some fun Hey Raj, what's so funny? Cada um de vocês foi feito with keys, com chaves, that will open up doors. Que abrirão portas. For what God wants to do for His kingdom. Com relação àquilo que Deus quer fazer pelo seu reino. So we're here right now at a pastor's meeting. It's a luncheon uh, after the first service, which was crazy. I mean, everyone was falling out. There was joy released. It was ridiculous. So back behind, we have uh, some teaching from uh, Ed Roca, Randy Clark, Joanne Moody, and Chuck McCallum. Personal values. Personal values. That is not. The same as me. We are here at this pastor's luncheon, and man, I'll tell you something. Randy Clark just dropped this truth bomb that was like it literally blew my mind. And it's one of those things where right away when he said it, someone said, That's going to be a book. And then Joe got up and she spoke about some of the issues in the church and how we don't recognize and acknowledge people's gifts and what they were born with and their their core values and it was so powerful but uh, we're here enjoying lunch with pastors from all over brazil it's amazing and they love so well so much honor here <laughs> Oh, my God. 
so we just finished our last night with Randy Clark and this little kid, he's probably eight years old, maybe nine, and he's back there and he's praying for everyone and everyone's getting laid out. They're just, they're passing out in the spirit and peace and power. It's crazy. This kid's, a, this kid's on fire right now. He was just, he went back to his seat and the, the Holy Spirit took him into an encounter and um, he took him back to his childhood um, and showed him his father wound. Um, his father was a drunkard and was laying on the sidewalk and he said the Holy Spirit healed his heart and he said that's the biggest encounter he's ever had in his life. Yeah. Uh, a Brazilian lady came to me and put something on my hand and I said, what's this? And she said, it's money. And then I looked at it and it was 15 um, uh, Brazilian money. And uh, she, she said, the Lord told her to give this money to me to say that the heaven resources are getting open for the revival meeting that I'm doing in my city. So, and I've been praying for money because this is going really wild. And so I was very happy today, very touched actually by this gesture, so this prophetic act of her. And she said that you have a conquering spirit and then the Lord will conquer your city and your nation. Wow. And then she knew nothing except of what Joe uh, told on the stage. Yeah, so, so I was so blessed today, yeah. All right, so we've been here in Brazil. Uh, we're in Niteroi, which is right outside Rio. And we've been here for about a week and we finally got a little bit of break. We get like half a day to just kind of relax. And so we came down here to the beach, which our hotel is right there, literally. And we came down here to the beach and my feet are in the sand. We got the waves going. I mean, look at how beautiful this is. Out here in Rio, it's probably in the 70s. Man, doesn't get much better than this. We're walking along and stumble across this plant. It has leaves like it's a pepper plant, but instead it has these beautiful, they're not even flowers, they're just like colored leaves, and then the white coming out on top. Hey, hey, hey! It's time for favorite moments. My favorite and moment I have a good was mama. my mom came to me. I found a new mama and said, "My son was healed of depression." Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was sweet. What's your favorite moment? First, like, thing, first thing that comes to mind. First thing that comes to mind. Okay. Um, being here is my favorite moment. Yeah, being here. Because I'm having a, a kind of last moment with you guys, and it's gonna be unforgettable. And that's my favorite moment it's right yeah. now. We're so glad you're here. We started in the morning, okay. and obviously I mean, we were on the rooftop, and God revealed my grandmother's name mm -hmm. to Vanessa, mm -hmm. and from there, obviously, inner healing happened. Mm -hmm. So that was really good. And what else? I love the people. So tonight, I can just keep watching them, loving each other. Yeah. Um, so that's really good. I have a favorite moment on the roof when we were drinking coffee, and I was paying for the coffee, and this guy kind of did this, and I asked him, "Do you have any pain?" And he said, "Yeah, I have like toothpaste." And I prayed for him, and he got it. <laughs> hey! Yeah. Yes. yes. My favorite moment was we were on the beach walking. We had a lady come up to us. We were just walking on the beach and a lady had seen us pray for somebody else. And then she came over to us and said that she had felt the Lord and said, can you please pray for my friend as well? She needs healing in her heart. And so we ended up praying for a friend and then we ended up praying for the lady as well. And the lady said like she saw God like coming, like descending on her friend when we were praying for her. And then after, because then we prayed for them, then another lady came up and asked, are y'all praying for people? Can you pray for us, pray for me as well? So then we just, Praying for people on the beach. Super fun. Oh, wow. So my favorite moment is praying with a guy earlier that had been a pastor 10 years ago and he was pushed out of his church and he just really needed to heal. He just weeped or wept and wept. I don't want to be like a tree in a hurricane, you know. God really healed him. So it's pretty cool. And I, it's Yeah, I'm actually Facebook living right now. I got your nose hairs. Are you recording? It's tea time with Vanessa. 
Honestly, today was, was a lot of fun in general because I got to like get in my element of releasing the prophetic because this whole week <laughs> has been like so loud that I just, I just can't think. <laughs> I can't, it was so different. So, um, so today it was like more of a peaceful day and I got to pray over our sweet sister Helen and that was beautiful. That was my favorite to just be in my element. So. Okay, so it's the last day. The last day. We're about to get on uh, on a bus to go to the airplane here in Brazil. And the beach, you can't even see it. The beach is behind me, it's beautiful. We gotta take a little walk to our friend, Neil Bear's coffee place, right here, right behind me. Uh, Neil Bear is uh, an amazing man of God. We actually uh, we were able to spend some time with him and the team, and uh, and he actually uh, prayed over my wife and, and really just uh, blessed her big time. So we're here and we're gonna come hang out and have some coffee real quick. So let me show you, you got a 60s feeling here, it's kinda nice. So in here, look where we're at. It's my wife, Marsha. And it in the house. Two M's, two T's. And here is the coffee shop. Yeah, I learned that this morning. So they got some nice little pastries. We're gonna have some espresso. It's gonna be delicious. Yeah. Do you say delicioso? Delicioso. Oh, delicioso. Yep, that. That. <laughs> You see how American we are. We brought our own creamer. Put in this Brazilian coffee. This is an espresso. Yep. Yeah, it's yours. Oh. Okay. So, we got caught up praying for someone at a coffee shop. It was so cute. I was in the white. Excuse me. And we're about to miss the bus back to the airport unless we run. So, she's right behind me. She's behind me. So we're running back to get to the bus. I think we're gonna make it. I don't have to take this. I'm going home. We're going home. We're in Rio. Parting is such sweet sorrow. There's the team behind us. Lovely family. Lovely family. Aww. We're gonna miss them. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it was a good time. It was a really good time. It was probably one of the best times of our lives. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of freedom. The Lord did a lot of amazing things. And we will never be the same.